Hello all, my name is Aditya, I'm a Cloud Network Engineer at Oracle and today I am going to demonstrate how to set up VPN from Palo Alto Firewall to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure using VPN Connect service. We'll be focusing on setting up policy based tunnels. We'll first go over the network setup that we are using and then draw dive right into the demo. This is the network topology we'll be using for today's demo. As you can see, Oracle by default provisions two tunnels and it's recommended to configure both of them on your on-premises equipment for redundancy purposes. On the customer side, we have Palo Alto set up with trust and untrust interfaces configured as shown. We'll be using untrust interfaces public IP as a VPN endpoint on a customer's data center. I have already set up PCN and the required configuration such as route tables and provisioning of computer instances for testing purposes. Now let's go to the console for the demo. This is a virtual cloud network we'll be using. These are the subnets are provisioned. Let's go to the route tables. As you can see, I have a direct route rule to point towards dynamic routing gateway for all the traffic destined towards on-premises saddle range. Now same rule has been added to the second route table as shown. Now let's go to networking. I have already provisioned a dynamic routing gateway. And I have attached, to, attached it to our virtual cloud network that we'll be using for the VPN. Now let's start the process to provision our VPN. So let's go to networking on VPN service and customer premises equipment. Let's create a new CPE. Make sure that you're entering the right public IP address. Be using Palo Alto and create CP. Now let's go to networking, VPN, and create a new connection. Make sure that you're in the right compartment. We will select the CPE that we previously created. Select the dynamic routing gateway. And since we won't be using a static route, let's go into advanced options and configure our tunnels. We'll select policy based routing. I'm entering my on premises side range. And for Oracle Cloud Cider, I'll be using one of the submit cider. Please note that I'm not using second submit cider yet, just for testing purpose. Now let's go and configure our second tunnel. And use the same configuration. You can always come back and change these associations. Hit create. Now, as you can see, this is getting provisioned. So let's go to our Palo Alto dashboard and start the process of provisioning IPsec. So the first step is to create iCrypto. Select appropriate parameters. Next step is to create IPsec crypto. Now the next step is to create I gateways for the two tunnels that we'll be using. Now for the peer address, we'll be using Oracle head and IP for that particular tunnel. So let's grab IP address for first tunnel. 
and floor be pre-shared key. Let's go into the details of this demo. As you can see, I'm copying the shared secret. Paste it over here. For the local identification, we'll be using IP address for the customer premise equipment. That is the public IP address of your address interface. Again, for the peer identification IP, we'll be using Oracle Herald IP. Now let's go to advanced options to change your exchange mode to pane and select appropriate Ike crypto profile. Let's review if everything is correct. And okay. Similarly, we'll be creating second Ike gateway for the second tunnel. Again, for the peer address, we'll be going to our second tunnel. Same for configuration for the second gateway as well. And hit OK. So the next step is to create tunnel interfaces. First, I'll select virtual router as default one. And we'll be adding the new security zone called as VPN. And hit OK. Now let's create second tunnel. Now, next step is to configure static routes for traffic going to OCI to use tunnel interfaces. So let's go to virtual routers. Select our default router and go to static routes. Destination should be saddled for your VCN. Now, as we are configuring two tunnels, and you start it out for the second tether. Now, as we're using two tunnels here, we should make sure that ECMP is enabled for traffic distribution. Now let's move on to create IPsec tunnels. Select the corresponding I gateway. And as we are using policy based tunnels, we should be adding proxy IDs. And this configuration should match for what we have, we have configured on your OCI side. Okay. Similarly, we'll be creating our second tunnel.
okay now the last step is to create proper security policies to allow the traffic from on-premises to ci and vice versa so let's go to policies let's select trust to vpn which allows all traffic now let's add policy for ci to palo alto from vpn to our trust zone now let's commit those changes and wait till it gets through now to, to bring the tunnels up we need to reshare the traffic from the on-premises i have already logged in into one of the virtual machines in our trust zone so let's bring the virtual machine As you can see, ping is successful. Now let's try to ping another virtual machine in the second subnet for which we have not added the encryption domain yet. As expected, the ping is failing. So now let's go to our console and try to add this second subnet in our encryption domain. Let's edit our first tunnel and add our second subnet. Let's edit our second tunnel. Now same configuration has to be replicated on the Palo Alto as well. Let's go to network and go into our tunnels and add our second proxy. Local should be your on-premises side range. Which remote is your second subnet. Same configuration on the second tunnel as well. Now let's commit those changes. All right. Now let's go to our terminal and try to ping that virtual machine again. Now, as you can see, the ping is successful. So like this, you can follow the same procedure to have multiple subnets on either on-premises or on OCI and have multiple encryption domain configuration like this. Thank you for watching the video.